Merhabalar, ben Sercan. Welcome to your Turkish journey. Today, we're going to make a brief introduction into the question words in Turkish. And then, in the next videos, we will cover them one by one in more detail. Now, let's take a look at the question words that we have in Turkish. Kim, ne, nere, nasıl, ne zaman, niçin, niye, neden, kaç, hangi, ne kadar. As I said, this is a brief introduction video. I will give you a couple of examples from each question word. And today, I will not cover all possible inflections, only some of them. And these questions are not yes-no questions. Therefore, we do not use the interrogation particle mı, mi, mu, mü in these questions, like we do in the yes-no questions. First of all, please know that these are the plain forms of the question words. Most of them receive the case suffixes and the copulative verb suffixes. Maybe at this point, I should recommend you to go and watch the videos about the cases in Turkish. The link to the playlist is in the description. Let's begin with kim. Kim. This question word means who. The answers to this question could be the subject, definite direct object, or indirect object. And depending on that, the question word receives suffixes. For example, if you ask, who would like to drink tea? In this case, you would like to know the subject of the sentence. Therefore, you use the question word in the nominative case. That means without case suffixes. Kim çay içmek ister? Kim çay içmek ister? The answer could be Ben isterim. Ben isterim. Ben is the subject of the sentence. When you want to ask Who did you see yesterday? In this case, what you would like to know is the definite direct object of the sentence. Therefore, the question word receives the accusative case suffix, like this. Dün kimi gördün? Dün kimi gördün? The answer could be Dün Ali'yi gördüm. Dün Ali'yi gördüm. Ali is the definite direct object of the sentence. Because of that, the accusative case suffix is attached to the question word and the answer as well. Now, let's talk about the question word ne. Ne. This question word means what. The answers to this question word could also be the subject, definite direct object, indefinite direct object, and indirect object. Therefore, depending on that, the question word receives suffixes. When we want to ask what happened here, what we want to know is the subject. Therefore, we use the question word in the nominative case, without any case suffixes. Burada ne oldu? Burada ne oldu? And when we want to find information about the indefinite direct object, the question word appears again in the nominative case, without any case suffixes. If you remember, an indefinite direct object does not receive any case suffixes either. Bu akşam ne yiyeceksin? Bu akşam ne yiyeceksin? The full answer is Bu akşam mantı yiyeceğim. Bu akşam mantı yiyeceğim. As you see, mantı is the indefinite direct object of the sentence and has no case suffixes. And if your aim is to find information about the indirect object of a sentence. You will need to be a little more careful about this as indirect objects in Turkish are formed with different suffixes. For example, if you want to ask what are you looking at, the answer of this receives the dative case suffix in Turkish because the verb to look, bakmak, bakmak, uses the dative case suffix. Duvardaki fotoğrafa bakıyorum. 
duvardaki fotoğrafa bakıyorum. Therefore, the question word needs to receive the dative case suffix as well, like this. Sen neye bakıyorsun? Sen neye bakıyorsun? I know, it could be a little confusing, but actually it is very logical. It follows the same suffix pattern with the answers of the questions. You will understand this much better when I talk about the question words one by one in more detail. Now, let's take a look at the question word nere. Nere. In today's Turkish, you would almost never see nere as it is. It appears always with a suffix such as nereyi, nereye, nerede or nereden. As you see, all of these are case suffixes. If you want to ask, where do you want to visit next year? The answer to that receives the accusative case suffix because it is the definite direct object of the verb to visit. Gelecek sene Hindistan'ı ziyaret etmek istiyorum. Gelecek sene Hindistan'ı ziyaret etmek istiyorum. Because of this, the question word receives the accusative case suffix as well. Gelecek sene nereyi ziyaret etmek istiyorsun? Gelecek sene nereyi ziyaret etmek istiyorsun? If you look at the question and the answer at the same time, the question word is placed exactly where the answer to that question is in the sentence. And the suffix is also the same, of course, complying to the vowel harmony. But if you ask, where will you stay tonight? Then you're asking the location. And in Turkish, the answer receives the locative case suffix. Because of that, the question word receives the same suffix as well. Bu akşam nerede kalacaksın? Bu akşam nerede kalacaksın? Bu akşam otelde kalacağım. Bu akşam otelde kalacağım. Now, let's take a look at the question word nasıl? Nasıl? This question word means how. We have already seen this question word many times. For example, when we ask how are you? Nasılsın? Nasılsın? Okul nasıl gidiyor? Okul nasıl gidiyor? Hava nasıl? Hava nasıl? Dün izlediğiniz film nasıldı? Dün izlediğiniz film nasıldı? Nasıl can be used to mean different from how. For example, Sercan Bey nasıl bir insan? Sercan Bey nasıl bir insan? Hırsız nasıl biriymiş? Hırsız nasıl biriymiş? Now, let's take a look at the question word ne zaman? Ne zaman? This question word means when. Üniversiteden ne zaman mezun oldunuz? Üniversiteden ne zaman mezun oldunuz? Ne zaman doğdun? Ne zaman doğdun? Doğum günün ne zamandı? Doğum günün ne zamandı? Ne zaman buluşacağız? Ne zaman buluşacağız? The answer could be Elbet bir gün buluşacağız. And this is a great Turkish classical song. You should listen to it. Elbet bir gün buluşacağız. In addition, if you want to say what time, then you would use these. Saat kaçta? Saat kaçta? Yarın saat kaçta buluşalım? Yarın saat kaçta buluşalım? Toplantı saat kaçta başlayacak? Toplantı saat kaçta başlayacak? Now, let's take a look at the question words niçin, neden, niye. These three question words mean why and all of them can be used to mean why. Bugün okula neden gitmedin? Bugün okula neden gitmedin? Bana niçin böyle davranıyorsun? Bana niçin böyle davranıyorsun? Ona niye hemen inandın? Ona niye hemen inandın? 
Now, let's take a look at the question word catch. Catch. This question word means how many. The answer to this question word can be any part of the sentence. Subject, direct object, indirect object. Depending on that, there are some conditions, but today we will not go into those details. Now, let's see a simple example. Akşam yemeğine kaç kişi geliyor? Akşam yemeğine kaç kişi geliyor? The answer to this question is the subject of the sentence. 20 kişi geliyor. 20 kişi geliyor. Kişi means person. Kişi. And it is singular. You may remember this from previous videos. In Turkish, when there's a numeral and a noun, the noun remains singular. 20 kişi. Because of the same reason, the word kişi is also singular after the question word kaç. Kaç kişi. Kaç kişi. Even though in English you use the plural, people, how many people, in Turkish we use the singular form of the word, kişi. Now, let's take a look at the question word hangi. Hangi. This question word means which. The answer to this question word can also be any part of the sentence. Subject, direct object, indirect object. And depending on that, there are some special conditions. But again, we will not go into those details today. Let's see some examples right away. İşe hangi otobüsle gidiyorsun? İşe hangi otobüsle gidiyorsun? Hangi kitabı okudun? Hangi kitabı okudun? Hangi araba seninki? Hangi araba seninki? Hangi üniversiteye gitmek istiyorsun? Hangi üniversiteye gitmek istiyorsun? And now, let's take a look at the question word ne kadar? Ne kadar? This question word means how much? Ne kadar vaktin var? Ne kadar vaktin var? This question word is also used to mean how long. Ankara'dan Frankfurt'a uçak yolculuğu ne kadar sürüyor? Ankara'dan Frankfurt'a uçak yolculuğu ne kadar sürüyor? We also use ne kadar to ask the price of something. Bu elbise ne kadar? Bu elbise ne kadar? Frankfurt'tan Ankara'ya uçak bileti ne kadar? Frankfurt'tan Ankara'ya uçak bileti ne kadar? Alright guys, I think this is it from me today. If you have any questions, please let me know. We will go into details about question words in the next videos. Please stay tuned. Görüşmek üzere.